things you should know. And number one on our list, if you want to shake up your breakfast routine, today is the day breakfast has already passed, but you can yes. still have it for dinner because today is National Waffle Day. The date commemorates when Cornelius Swarthout received a waffle <laughs> iron patent in New York in 1869, but the food has been around since the 14th century. People eat different kinds of waffles around the world. To qualify as a waffle, if it just has to have leavened butter, batter, or dough heated between two patterned plates. That's what makes it a waffle? I guess so. Now we know. So you can make anything into a waffle. That looks good. Chicken and waffles is yes. one of my favorite meals. What do you put on a waffle? Just like mm. syrup. That's it. I don't get too crazy. Yeah, I don't put much butter on there. Sometimes you put a little fruit on there, I guess. But yeah, Ooh, just syrup. That's nice. It's the way to go. You like them over pancakes? Better? No, no. Have you done that? No, I'm saying like, do you like them better than pancakes? No, I like pancakes better to be honest <laughs> with you. Yeah, really? I like, I kind of like both. I think pancakes are like maybe a little easier. Okay. I don't know. I see that. Yeah. I can see that. They're both kind of the same food though. They're both delicious. But yeah, you they could are. definitely stack them on top of each other. Go you wild. You could do that. Yeah, for Today's sure. Today's the day to do it. All right, guys. And moving on, the pumpkin spice grace may have started with coffee drinks, but this fall, hard seltzer is a jumping on that bandwagon. Is this the Vive? The Vive brand? I don't brand? know what this is uh, doing. We're <laughs> thinking it's the Vive brand. They're launching <laughs> a pumpkin spice hard seltzer in September. It's very limited release though, only available at Kroger stores in Ohio, Kentucky, and Tennessee. To see six packs of Vibe Pumpkin Spice Hard Cider will go for a suggested retail price of $9.99. So do you say yuck or yum? Yuck. Absolutely yuck. <laughs> I do love hard seltzers, but pumpkin spice, I think it's a little much. We might be pushing it with this one. Why not? I mean, at this point, let's just, just throw everything into one <laughs> basket and, and see what comes out. You've got to really like pumpkin spice to do that. You've got to be a yeah. super fan. We know there are a lot of super fans, though, for sure. I don't really even like pumpkin spice like lattes, so I'm going to pass on that. You that's, guys let me know how it is. That's a pass for me, too. <laughs> it's up to you guys. All right, moving right along. Infectious disease experts say it's almost time for your annual flu shot. Now, the CDC says September or October are actually the best times to get that vaccine. Summer months are usually too early to get that shot since getting it too early may actually reduce protection later in the flu season when it's spreading the most. The CDC recommends flu vaccinations for everyone over the age of six months. As long as there aren't indications, they shouldn't receive it. And on that subject of health, a good night's sleep isn't only important for energy and focus, but research actually shows that it can support a strong immune system and help you fight off infections. Mandy Gaither shares a five minute yoga routine to help you rest. If you're losing sleep in these uncertain times, five yoga poses before bed can help you catch those Z's, says health and fitness expert Stephanie Mansour. The first pose is reclining big toe pose. Lifting one leg up and one leg down, hold on behind the calf or the hamstring and breathe. Hold for 30 seconds and then switch sides. Pose number two is lizard pose. This is great for stretching out the hip flexors that often get really, really tight during the day if you're sitting at a desk. The third pose is bound angle pose. Feet together, knees apart, lift your chest and fold forward. Remember to always breathe in and out through your nose throughout this series. That's a very soothing and calming breath. The fourth pose is pigeon pose. We're really getting into the glutes here and we're breathing to release any tension in the hips. Finally, we've got legs up the wall. In our case, legs up the headboard. Legs are elevated higher than the hips, allowing the blood to rush down and calming the nervous system. Good night. For today's Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. I actually really like that idea. It was very informative. <laughs> you can do more on your bed than just sleep. Who yep. would have thought it? Yep, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, moving on. More than 52,000 Hasbro water guns sold at Target are not now being recalled due to some lead concerns. So the guns are the Super Soaker XP-20 and the Super Soaker XP-30. Now, the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission says that these uh, stickers on the water tank of the toys have actually lead, lead levels in the ink that exceed the federal lead content ban. Now, lead exposure in kids can lead to impaired cognitive and behavioral disorders and other health effects and is toxic if ingested. The commission urges customers to immediately take the toy away from kids and get in touch with Hasbro on how to get a full refund. And we are switching gears to entertainment. Movie fans are turning up to watch Hollywood releases. Rick Damagella has the box office countdown. 
With theaters beginning to open across the U.S. and new films to fill movie screens, Hollywood's box office tracking service, Exhibitor Relations, is reporting ticket sales for the first time since mid-March. The coming-of-age schizophrenia drama Words on Bathroom Walls debuted in third place this weekend on ticket sales of just over $462,000. I love my life. The gang from Bikini Bottom swam back into movie theaters this weekend as the SpongeBob movie Sponge on the Run surfaced in second with $550,000. What do you want? I need you to learn what a bad day really is. The road rage thriller Unhinged, starring Russell Crowe, was originally slated to open in North America at the end of July, but was pushed back. That strategy resulted in a first place box office win as Unhinged scared up an estimated $4 million. In Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. All right, guys, we have to take a quick break, but when we return, we're clearing the shelters, and I'm introducing you to someone really special. Later, also, we're adopting a teacher. I'm going to tell you how you can help local educators have a successful school year. We also have some great tips for parents dealing with teenagers experiencing stress and anxiety as they head back to school. Stay with us. We'll be right back.